mark site, if I find something interesting on the website, I keep it and I keep and I check it specially and say what's what's unique about this. I can chat with friends if I if I have an issue. This is real time communication. I don't need to wait for days as long as I have the connection. And how are these web tools being used for agriculture? Um, what are their potential in agriculture? I must say that this is a new technology. We have to acknowledge that, and it's limited. Its usage is limited. But that, that doesn't mean that it's not being used. It's being used by some farmers in some areas. To others, it's a new thing. They have never, they have never even heard of Web 2.0 2.0. Um, so Web 2.0 can be used to diversify their production. You may, you may have been producing only maybe cotton, and then you get ideas from friends, and they're like, no, you could produce maybe beans or, or peas still in the same cotton garden. You can use it to increase your productivity. How? Because you can get market online using these web tool tools. You could say, have this, can, can we exchange this, or can, we, can I market this in your region? You can reduce risks. This I used an example of mobile banking and mobile money transfer. Like in Uganda, we have the MTN, money, the, sorry, mobile telephone network. And these people have introduced a service called mobile money. You don't need to travel to banks or to travel distances to withdraw money. All you do, you just send money using the phone. And they use very simple demonstrations, at least for farmers to understand. A farmer who can't read or write could, use, could see a picture, maybe if I can go, um, I think it's a bit blurred, but this picture, the extreme left, 